Hello ladies and gentlemen, yes it is T, aka Mr. Science and Muscle. Welcome back, it's a Sunday evening. You guys are looking at Hunger Busters, five of the most filling foods. Let's get them into our bodies. Run the intro. Right, I am a nutritionist's nightmare. One, because I am bonkers about calories. Uh, yes, we talk about calories in versus calories out, what makes us feel fuller for longer, but also, you've gotta feel satisfied when you have food. There is no worse feeling, no worse feeling, than wasting daily calories on food that ends up being rubbish. I once ate a vegan burger, I've gotta admit, as much as I love the idea of becoming a vegan, some of the food out there for vegans is utter dross. But anyway, I digress. If you are counting calories, you are gonna want your calories to count. You're gonna want food that is not only nutrient dense, but also very high up on the satiety index. Satiety is us actually feeling full. Now, for some people, they may never ever feel full, but ramming certain foods into you is going to make you feel fuller for a whole lot longer. Let's kick this off. Okay, most foods that rank high up on the satiety index tend to be high in protein, tend to be high in fiber, and tend to be high in water or air, or a combination of the three. Straight away, you begin to think of things like potatoes, which leads us on to number one. So ladies and gentlemen, number one gives us the humble potato, or potato, as I keep getting told here in the UK, potato. All right, so you guys out there will begin to realize that potatoes are so filling because they rank number one on the glycemic and the satiety mix because they're packed filled with a protein, a protein that suppresses your appetite. It actually is known that this protein suppresses your appetite. And the great thing about it is, that side of mashed potatoes can now help you to lose weight. That is why mashed potato is the king of potatoes. None of these roast potatoes don't work for me. Okay, obviously got to fry in fat, got to fry in goose fat, got to fry in oil, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but, Again, the humble potato can put you on the road to feeling full and, most importantly, losing that extra weight. Okay, among the king of proteins, just on that note, number two is fish. Now, fish is massively part of a Mediterranean diet. Here in the UK, I would probably say that we don't eat enough fish unless it is battered from a chip shop, therefore costing more money, okay? But if you get more fish into your diet, you can get more omega-3s in. More omega-3s freezing means feeling full. That oily fish is gonna make you feel fuller for longer. And this is why we are here, seeing. We want high nutrient dense, low calorie, great filling food that's gonna make us feel fuller for longer and it's gonna be packed, ow, full of protein. Get that fish in once or twice a week. Now, number three. If you are in the market for a breakfast that's gonna keep you full right the way to lunch, there is no better cereal or no better breakfast out there than porridge oats. Yes, I know the humble oat is the king of breakfast time. Not only is it packed with good carbs, not only is it packed with good protein, but you can actually have a smaller amount and feel full out for a longer period of time. Top it up with great, Things like almonds, hazelnuts, crushed, obviously, because no one wants to fall hazelnut in their mouth, and drizzle a little bit of honey, and you've got yourself a winning solution to get you through to lunch. Milk, not needed to be added when you can add water, and still packing a great breakfast that's gonna make you feel so satiated and keep you going right the way through to when Brenda brings her biscuits at lunchtime. Okay, on to number four. Now, our youngest loves, loves baked beans, loves, but they do not love him at all. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
No, no, no. But number four is the humble bean. Now there are loads of beans out there that you can choose from. Butter beans, broad beans, as well as legumes like lentils and, and chickpeas as well. Now you can make an amazing, healthy chickpea dal. I'll throw the recipe in the comments below. It's so straightforward. It's just your spices, onion, garlic, and believe it or not, a lot of coconut milk and a can of chickpeas. And then the rest is pretty straightforward. I won't even do the video and show it on my YouTube channel anyway. But the humble legume and the humble bean can throw you up so many healthy options that are going to keep you feeling fuller for long, longer, longer. This is why when people have baked beans with their breakfast, so when they have beans on toast, this is why you cannot move afterwards because it is so satisfying. Okay, again, reminder, get your beans non-juiced in a can, preferably with brine or water, and then cook them to your taste, preferably throw in a little bit of spice, but beans, beans are definitely good for the heart. And finally, eggs. Now, number five is going to be my personal favorite, simply because it's so freaking quick. Like, you can literally make scrambled eggs, uh, fried eggs, reason me, fry like. Um, but eggs are, again, massively high on the site. <laughs>